So in the last video we were looking at using the custom shape tool and we learned that Photoshop actually ships with quite a few custom shapes but you're certainly not limited to just those shapes there are many many online that uh, that you can that you can do so for example if I go online here uh, here's a site uh, shapes for free and I just picked one 120 arrow of, uh, Photoshop shapes uh, read through the license and everything and then download them right there I've uh, to save time I have already downloaded them and so here's uh, here's what I've downloaded and you'll notice that uh, custom shapes files for Photoshop end with the extender CSH for custom shapes and you can uh, there's a how to use and then there's a license but it's actually quite easy to do so for example if I come back here and I'm in my custom shape tool I can come into here and then click on the gear and then I can say I would like to load shapes and those were in my downloads and there's the custom shapes brushes I can open that and so now as I scroll down you'll notice that I have all of these new shapes in here and I can take any any of them and draw draw that particular shape now shapes are managed in the edit menu and you can you can define your own custom shape if you wish uh, we'll get into that one a little bit later on but there's a preset manager for Photoshop right here and these are where all the brushes the swatches the gradients the styles the patterns contours the custom shapes the tools are stored so if I go into the custom shapes for example I can also load shapes from here I can delete shapes that I don't really want so if I didn't want that one I could delete that particular shape uh, again uh, like in most files and things like that if you click on the first one and then you hold your shift key down and click on the last one everything in between is selected and I can delete those shapes as well another nice thing is that if you wanted to share some shapes with somebody else you could say well I want that one and instead of holding my shift key I'm going to hold my command key and that allows me to choose non contiguous ones I can say well I want those shapes to share and I can save that as a custom shape file to my desktop or anywhere else and then I can share that file or I could use it to back up my own custom shapes that is how it works very easily done